Hello, and welcome back to the Talos Principle. We just got all of these stars that I know of, which only ends up being nine. So I'm hoping that the last one is back here. Oh, that's so weird. It's like walking through a one-way textured wall. It is the only one that has, like... Oh no, I guess it's on the inside. Hmm. Let's see what's here. Ah, great. A maze. A maze. Uh... Um... Excuse me? Um, uh, what is this place? What? Um, a uh, what? I feel like I wasn't supposed to find this place. Uh, what is this? I'm so confused. Are there any, like... There is one. But they aren't letting me use it. Are these, like, the developers? Oh, that's cute. Uh, but, but what? <laughs> uh, fans? I haven't unlocked those yet. Uh, oh, I'm guessing this is, like, a supporter area. Yeah. Okay. I was kind of, like, freaking out and, like, confused for a second. <laughs> the Z sigils are evil. <laughs> so wrong, eh? Elohim, that's the name. Wonder what that QR scanner, that QR code leads to. I feel like that's gonna come. Oh. back to where we began. Well, this place is nice now that I know what it is, for like, sure. <laughs> oh, I like it. I was just like super confused at first. Blah, sorry. Oh, there is a machine. there's anything here then I can't really pick up or interact with much I'm guessing these are like the developers hmm. oh what are these oh it started doing the They're like teleporters, but they don't actually teleport you. And only one of them made the noise? Oh, that one makes the noise. Oh, I might not have them unlocked? Question mark? Huh. <laughs> this place was nice. I wonder if each um, hub world is going to have one. I liked it peaceful and like 
the glitches are on purpose instead of just being there to freak you out. Um, that does leave the question of how do I get the last star? Yeah, that's a question. I'm gonna... Yeah. Have to check that. Okay. I just had to do a lot of research because apparently it's not that easy. Um, so there are nine stars per section like this. And then there are three hidden up in like that tower area. One of the ones I've already looked at. Um, but none of them are immediately accessible right now. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get a star from the B area and then come back here and do these levels, which seems a bit redundant um, and unfortunate, but we can do it. That means we're moving on to a new area now. We get to do some new puzzles and read some new logs. I have not looked at any of these because I was waiting until I was actually ready to go to them. Because I wasn't sure what the order was supposed to be that I get them in. Yeah, so all... Not this in particular, but one there's like... The clumps of two letters, it's ASCII. Which I do not want to translate all of that ASCII, even though some of it sounds really important. Brown's bulls are... Uh, I always forget the difference between Greek and Roman. Actually, are they both? Isn't that like a Hephaestus thing? Forge God. Guessing Roman based on how this begins. Hmm. Just obligatory text on more philosophical stuff. <sighs> well, I guess it's B time. <laughs> oh, now it's, um, Greek and, I mean, Egyptian. <laughs> That's a fair point. Ooh. Escape does not close. Yeah, usually there isn't a series of trials you need to go through to go from the Duat to, um, Oga or whatever it was called. Um, usually just depending on how you lived your life and what the scales say is what tells that. Okay, thinking time. I'm gonna, instead of doing it all at once, actually start filling parts of it in as I go to make it a bit more visualized. No, that's not right. What about... Nope. Can we make a square out of those? Four by four square. Yes. There we go. So I was thinking, if this covers up one of these, we've just got the square. So then I started rearranging these parts to see if I could make them into a four by four square in any seeable way. If I couldn't, then I know that this has to go this lengthways on the um, thing, and then I'd have to start solving from there. But after staring at it for a few seconds, I figured out how to compact it into that 4x4. Four four. See here, anything different here than in A? You can actually walk up to the doors. Ooh. Hmm. 
Please don't tell me I'm gonna walk up to one of these and it's gonna be like, This door is locked. You need keys to open it. Okay, good. This Ooh. is a land of death, but also great beauty. As you walk amongst these tombs, consider all those who came before you, and how they served the greater purpose of which you are also part. I don't think that sky's real. I don't think any of this is real, so never mind. That doesn't really matter. Um... Okay, that's fan. How do we get through those boarded off areas? We've got a play button. And we've got each of the areas. I'm gonna check around for any secrets like there was in the other one. Ooh, there is a star place here. Ooh, this is gonna consume them. Like, I'm guessing once I use one of them, it's gonna take away ten of my stars. And then I'm gonna have to find a place to get the next ten. So I'm probably gonna wanna nope all the way back to area A once I get one of the stars from here. There are a lot of areas that look like they could be accessible here that I can't get to right now. And looking at some of the signs, it looks like we're gonna unlock fans in this area. So I'm guessing there might be a secret area up there if we get a fan in this hub area. Somehow? Probably. If not, then, well. Um. That's the fan. What does the play button look like? Oh, there was one of those in that bonus area thing before. It made one of those hologram guys, I think? Huh. I wonder what that's gonna do. Um, well, anyways, until then, I think this is probably good enough. I don't want to start a whole new level in this area. Um... Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Looking at the weird trippy clouds. Um, and say, see you in the next video. See ya.